Okay guys, we're going to be jumping right into it today. Now I'm going to be showing how to replace an old style float valve with the newer style fill valves in your toilet. Step one, go ahead and turn off the water at the valve. Next, take off the tank cover and go ahead and flush the toilet and watch all the water drain from the tank. Be aware that you're not going to be able to drain all the water from the tank. You'll have about a half inch to an inch of water left in there. So have some towels and if you have a bucket, have those on hand so you can drain that rest of the water when you remove the water line coming from the wall up to the actual tank itself. If you have a fixed water line, what I have here running from the valve up to the fill valve, then you may want to replace that with a flexible line which will be a lot easier to get on and off and the fixed lines have issues with cross threading if they're not perfectly lined up so that flexible line will remove that situation and just be a lot easier to get back on. Now that the water line has been removed and you have no more water left in the tank, go ahead and pull out the old fill valve and float and just set that in a garbage bag and just throw that away. I'm also going to be replacing the old flapper. You can buy these two devices separately and just do one at a time if you want. The package I bought, I'm going to be doing both. This old flapper is falling apart and you can see the black on my fingers because this thing, this rubber is literally deteriorating in the tank. First thing we're going to install is the new flapper. Now this will take some trial and error because you want about a quarter inch to a half inch of tension in the chain. If it's too tight, then the flapper will stay up causing the water to constantly drain. And if it's too loose, then your flapper won't open all the way when you go to press the handle. And this will cause only a partial flush, meaning you won't be able to get everything down the toilet. Some trial and error will come into play here and this might take several attempts before you get it correct. Now that we're done with the flapper, we're going to install the valve. First, go ahead and attach the refill tube onto your refill port. Next, make your initial height adjustments by holding the bottom of the valve and twisting either clockwise or counterclockwise. You're looking to have the top of the valve sit about three inches above the top of the overflow pipe. Next, go ahead and attach the refill tube to the overflow pipe. If your tube is sticking above your tank, then just simply use a pair of scissors and cut off whatever excess length you need to. I would recommend doing small cuts and do several of them if necessary, rather than one large cut and making your refill tube too short. Now go ahead and install your lock nut to the bottom of the fill valve. Now if you have the old style fixed line like I have, then I would recommend just leaving this lock nut a tiny bit loose, which will give you some wiggle room in the valve, which will allow you to better align the old style fixed line to the fill valve and prevent cross threading. If you have a flexible line, then you won't need to do this, but make sure to go back after you got the fixed line on and tighten down your lock nut because otherwise you're gonna have water leaking from the tank. Now that the new valves have been installed and you've got everything hooked back up, go ahead and turn the water back on slowly while checking for leaks to make sure that everything was tight enough and then just let the tank fill completely. Once the tank refills with water, you're going to want to look to see where the level is at. You want to have it about half inch below the top of the overflow pipe. If your tank has a mark inside saying where the water level needs to be, then go off of that. And if it's above that line or below that line, then simply turn your water level adjustment screw to make your adjustments. I would recommend doing about three to four clicks each time, and then you'll have to flush the tank, wait for the water level to reset, and then repeat the process until you get it to the exact height. This doesn't have to be precise, but it should be pretty close. Okay, at this point you're done. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time on the DIY Grunt.